hi everyone thank you for watching again so after three weeks i finally took on the task uh, to take chenilia's braids out and i decided to give you guys a few tips on how to uninstall braids without causing breakage hope you enjoyed the video um i haven't touched chenilia's hair in all of the three weeks she had her braids in meaning i didn't restyle her hair or add any moisture any products which is fine because most breakage occurs during manipulation and not when it's braided up and in a protective style so as long as you're not touching it pulling on it or doing anything with that um, the hair doesn't break but if i'm taking it out with um, the hair being as dry as it is right now then it will cause breakage because then I'm manipulating her hair, putting tension on her strands and the hair just can't deal with it because it's too dry. So that's why uh, the first thing you need to do when taking out braids is to make sure that um, the hair is uh, wet and saturated. Wet hair has more elasticity, which means that when you um, pull on it, it doesn't snap, it doesn't break as fast as it would um, if the strand was dry. Um, and I'm also using an oil after that because oil gives the hair slip and slip prevents the hair from tangling. I'm using oil right now because I want to give her hair a hot oil treatment. But if you're not planning on doing a hot oil treatment, I would suggest just um, using a conditioner with a lot of slip and you're basically pre pooing then at once. Uh, so now that I made sure that the hair is completely saturated and covered with oil, it's time to unravel uh, the braids. And I like to use a fine tooth comb to help me unravel uh, the braids at the tips of her hair. It's just easier that way. After I took out um, a few braids, it's time to add a little bit more moisture and oil and then I'm just twisting the hair, getting out any shed hair she might have. I like to put some oil on her edges and then massage them for about 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes because um, the small braids put a lot of tension on her edges 
so I need to make sure that I still stimulate growth and prevent the hair from falling out. I'm very conscious about the hairstyles I pick for my girls. That means if I choose a hairstyle that puts a lot of tension on her edges, it means that the next week or the next hairstyle um, has to be one that doesn't put tension on her edges at all. So it's all about balance. My favorite kinds of oil to massage her edges are um, castor oil, which is really, really good for growth, and peppermint oil, which is really, really good for stimulating the blood circulation and follicles. I'm covering her hair with a plastic bag. The heat from her hair will uh, make sure that her follicles open up and that way the moisture and oil can really penetrate her shaft and i'm covering her hair with a microfiber towel which will stay on all night and i will wash her hair in the morning so after i washed her hair she will rock her hair into strand twist uh, for break week break week means that um I will not touch, stretch, or do anything with her hair for at least a week to give her hair the rest it needs. Um, balance is key and if you start over manipulating her hair, it will cause breakage. Chenille's hair is this long and this healthy because we have a balanced hair regimen, which means we can have fun with it, but also give the hair the rest it needs. And this is how moisturized and shiny her hair looks after neglecting it for three weeks. As you can tell, um, there is no breakage. Her hair is still healthy, it's still long, and it's shiny and moisturized. So you don't have to moisturize uh, the hair on a daily basis when it's in a protective style. It's just important that you know how to detangle and you know how to take down hair styles without causing breakage. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments box below and I'll make sure to answer them ASAP.